Hi guys, a follow up of my video, IC or Slack, why not both? So, <laughs> I have been using, um, what do you call it, the Slack desktop to navigate between some Slack, I don't, I don't know what do you call them, Slack communities that I'm a part of. And I noticed that that uh, the Slack desktop is taking, I don't know, 22 gigs of virtualized RAM. I'm not too sure what that means really because I still have eight gigabytes available. But I, I still thought it was excessive and I did feel it was slowing down my, my workflow on my on my T4480 S. So now I can actually remove this Slack desktop thing, whatever it's called and save myself a couple of hundred megabytes because I have got da, 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 Wii Slack going. So I'm an RC user by and large, but I've made the switch to WeChat because of this script, plugin, whatever. So let me just show you how it works because I haven't found very good videos showing how WeChat works. WeChat with two E's, not to be confused with the, the Chinese um, chat app called WeChat with one E. So let me just make the font a little bit bigger. So if you run IRC, you know it's very important to have good connectivity. So I have a Nook back there, which is always connected to the internet. It's just a shell, buy one, it's like a few bucks a month if you can't have a stable internet connection. So I have WeChat running on Tmux, and this is what my WeChat thing looks like. This thing here is my is my Slack thing, is my Slack integration, what have you, and these are the free node channels I'm on, and it's taking some while to get used to. Like, like one thing that blew my mind after spending some time on on WeChat was that many of the bindings in the Quick Start seem to have Alt, and Alt never ever worked for me. And it's only because now I have discovered that setting the term ST Meta 256 color, I now have alt key working. But I, to be honest, I'm kind of used to using the alt as my DWM modifier. So I had to create this like weird remap between the Windows key and alt over here. But, but anyway, now I have alt working and it works in <laughs> Curses, and now I can do like strange things like hold down alt. Let me see if I can run screen key so you can better have a better. I can run alt and basically move between the channels. So, uh, what do you call it? Alt A moves between the, the one with the latest activity. Anyway, so ugh, what can I tell you? I installed the script, and there are many scripts with. Uh, with WeChat, and this one was called, I guess the we, sorry, not it's probably called We Slack somewhere down here. So somewhere, yeah. Basically, in Void Linux, there's a thing called We Slack. You install that, and then you link it in here, and then you go like register what have you, and then you get it running. First off, this buffer list, the channel list on the left was basically just all muddled up. I had to run this this auto sort script, which is should be here. Auto sort, yeah. This auto sort thing makes this a little bit more intelligible. And now, um, and these are the other ones I'm running. URL server is quite fun. That allows me. It basically passes out the URLs and so I can have it on a web page. So I can look at it. Let me see if I can show you that quickly. So basically instead of like uh, dragging dragging URLs from, from here and then pasting in there, I can just quickly go to this web page and go boom. Or you know, control boom. And it's a nice sort of history too, isn't it? So that's URL server. So there's, there's just a lot to cover here. Um, so anyway, I'm using WeChat. Um, it's got scripts, you should enable them. 
Uh, oh, Go makes it easy for me to go between uh, kind of like kind of like Control P, kind of like D menu. Uh, what else do I have enabled? And show me the other scripts, dude. Um, yeah, colorize Nix. I, I like colors to be able to identify different people. Um, the logs aren't quite the same as OC. I can't really figure them how, uh, how to format them exactly the same as OC. But otherwise, I'm actually been using this the last day to communicate with my colleagues and it seems to be working quite well. I would show you, I, I have a few settings enabled which make life a little bit better, I feel. Like I have the threads, let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, I basically um, have Python Slack thread messages in channel and that's working quite well. But the, the threading in Slack kind of screws up with the IRC. It's taking some time to get used to like the sl slash thread thing. But otherwise, I think it's working. I think it's working. Um, another thing that I'm tr I'm desperately trying to get my head around besides script is this FSET stuff. I wish... I wish config was just in a config file instead of this weird interface. I'm, I'm always struggling to remove this filter. Wait, alt R is to reset, okay. Reset. Oops, sorry, wrong one. I still can't get rid of this filter. Anyway, this F set thing, very confusing. The gesture thing with the mouse, that's also kind of confusing, I'm getting used to that. But other way, but, other, but otherwise, WeChat's pretty clever, like when it puts in a URL and it can tell you when people are typing and things like that. It's mad. I'm really impressed. Um, you know, have a look at this, this GIF here, convince me. And now I've saved myself a lot of memory, I guess. So WeChat, bring it on. Any tips, please let me know. Please like the video, please subscribe. Sorry for this very poor introduction of WeChat. I'm just starting. I'm just starting. That's my. I'm just starting. I hope, start with me. Cheers. Bye.